Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario. Uh, Super Mario. I gotta get out of that. Majora's Mask. So last time we were talking to a stalker. And today we are going to make uh, progress. As you can see, it's dawn of the first day. South Clock Town. Sun was a little offbeat. And people are looking at stuff. And Link is like, what the hell? He gives me the creeps. Oh no, who cares? Just thinking aloud, even if we never sleep. No crap, Sherlock. I believe a black PowerPoint thing just said that. And the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Hmm, yeah, interesting. Oh well. Anyway, that dog we just passed by likes to kill us. And we got to go do stuff before we go. What we're gonna wanna do is get this ferry. Please find my way to the North Clock Town. Well, you guys can see where we have to go. Ooh, ooh, what the hell was that? <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry, guys. That McDonald's. <laughs> mm, that's not Northern Clock Town. And an owl. Let's smack it. You who hold the sacred store and leave proof of the encounter. Wow, well, that was interesting. And we find someone blowing a balloon. Um, who cares? Anyway, I get it. Pop the balloon. We'll do that later. There's a couple things we're gonna want to do. And by the way. Um, I'm gonna be using save states. Um, I was mainly because like I'm only gonna be using save states like in mini games and stuff, and like obviously to leave where I was, cause you can't save in this game very well, like at all. So we have this big fairy that's really huge, um, who gives us stuff, and look, big light. Link gets all drowsy and stuff. Man, I don't know what to say. I just came back from McDonald's. What can I say? But, McDonald's is awesome. Sorry, all you McDonald haters. No. But, um, man, we are, it's gonna take us a while before we get, say, a bubble blast. Hooray, hooray, let me... The first part of this game is really boring. I don't, I, I'm not kidding with you guys. This game... It's not a lot of fun in the beginning, but it gets funner. Let's just backflip. Let's go backwards because we're super cool and stuff. Anyway, with our new magic power abilities, we can blow up this. Hooray! Hooray! Hooray. 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 <laughs> that hurt. That hurt my lungs, kinda. Are you really alright? Line up, guys. Ah, he's all late. What an idiot. I bet we'll find him first, even though I don't know what number he was. I'm only doing this mainly to kind of keep the way the game was supposed to be played. I can easily just go on Google and look up all types of the codes, all the different combination of codes, and I could have gone off screen to check what it was beforehand. Could have done all of that crap, but it wasn't worth it in my opinion. So yeah, these kids stay a certain distance away from you. And it's always, it's always far away enough to where your bubble can reach him. I get it, Tattle. We, I don't want to play with little boys either, but... Luckily, we're not the mass salesman. We're just, we're just a little Deku. So, if you guys haven't been able to tell yet, I've played this game a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. And, you know, it's kind of interesting. Okay, we want we want him to see us first. We want him to run away to a certain distance. Oh, sure. Why the hell not? Let's just keep going. Had this whole big plan on catching him, and he just runs right into me and my bubble. Better ruin my fun, douche. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look as cool as possible with, you know, all the side jumping and all. 
stupid little kids. And I have realized that this game is really, really, really long. This is gonna be like my first really long LP. So, um, what I'm thinking about doing is, oh crap, it's the chicken one. We can do it. Got him. You don't want this kid to go off the edge. Because what he'll do is he'll go behind here and, oh no, what's this? Why can't I go through him? Because he's a douche. What you want to do here is you want to scare him on the top and yeah, he falls down. So that's about it. That took a long time. So I'm thinking about uploading one to two a day. So he's like, no scrubs. It's cause yeah, you know, we're Dekus and all. Three, one, two, four, five. Tres, uno, dos, cuatro, cinco. Did I say that right? Wow, I did. Incredible. And you kind of want to keep that, not those numbers implanted. You know, in your mind. But, um... Three... One... Two... Four... Five... Yeah, that's great. I just want to kind of point this out. It's kind of neat. Um... If you forget... He... That, that nice little bomber will tell you. I learned that from Shady Pickles, so... I get it! There's a cool telescope and all. I'm gonna go look at the telescope! Douchebag. Kill him. <sighs> okay. So yeah. If you know what if you know how to play this game really well, you can definitely do a lot before you turn back into Link. I know Shady Pickle got three heart heart pieces. And I'm probably going to be referring to his LP a lot. Because, like I said, he's one of... He's the guy that helped me get started and stuff. And Like I said, I'll always appreciate that from him. Only other cool thing about this game is that I'm definitely not going to be like... I'm definitely going to be running low on time now. Yeah, yeah, I'm the new kid. Yes, I would love to game this in a telescope. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Oh look, it's the Skull Kid, what a surprise. I totally didn't know he was gonna be there. And he looks up. And oh my god, the moon's crying. The moon is crying, big fat fire meteor thing. <laughs> Sorry. And he shakes his butt ass. He's a douchebag. Okay, that one was real. The last one I did was fake, but that one was real. Oh man, now it smells in here. I gotta make sure to not eat before I record. I blame McDonald's. Nah. McDonald's is too good to be blamed for anything. Especially our obesity rates. Totally not their fault. Their parent the parents are the controllers. Oh, you guys know that that was cool. Okay, so we're gonna want some rubies. You know, for later. And we're just gonna keep going now. Not a whole lot we can do. Actually, there's a lot we can still do, but I think we'll end. I know how we're gonna end. Stupid chasing kids around took up all of our time. And I gotta think about what were the heart pieces I was gonna get again. Okay, so it's one. Okay, so we're good. I know what, I know what ones I'm gonna be getting. I get it. Yeah, there's a bunch of cool stuff. And we're gonna wanna go this way. The best thing you can do, if you want to do like a 100% run, is get this part out of the way as early as possible. Because this part's annoying. This is the main thing that you have to be doing in this, in like as a Deku. This is the main thing you have to do. You have to, you know, get the kids. And you want to give this guy a moon tier. Which you picked up. So you want to do the little kid side quest thing. So you can get the Deku Flower land title deed. Oh god, man, I'm going to run out of time. Alright, so we're going to end by picking up the heart piece. Because what happens is, is, as you guys saw, he was on the clock tower. So this is the only way to get over there. 
So you're gonna want to do that. And as this guy slowly but surely goes over there, I was about to say maybe he's a girl, but he just said he wanted a moon tier for his wife. So okay, now we're just gonna go over there, pick up the heart piece, and end. Whee! Yeah, we picked up our first heart piece. Who gives a damn? Okay, guys. So next time, um, let's play Majora's Mask. Oh, I actually said it right this time. Um, we're gonna be doing more stuff, and it's almost night time. Perfect time to end. So we're gonna be in at five, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.